Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt Hey, uh, Ian here. Just want to let you know. He means giving it, not getting it. Okay, thanks. Back to the song. It's a wild ride when you're being Ian, being Ian. And life is shit, but you're positive. Let's find out what it's like to live a life. Being Ian, being Ian. With Jordan. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Man, I feel like a woman. And oh. I am happy to be here with you, Jordan. Dee, 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 dee. I missed you for a while. Yes. It was two days. I was gone for a month. And it then we hung out at Skankfest. I was gone September 22nd. <laughs> you were like, October I'm leaving. 24th. You were like, I'm leaving forever. And then you text me, like, I'm at the cellar tonight. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I did come back for three days of mischief. Uh, uh, speaking of being on the road for a month, uh, November 17th to 19th, I'm headlining Punchline Philly, Philadelphia, Delaware, Jersey. Come on the fuck out. I got LaMare Lee and John Del Calo opening the show. Gardini, Bartley, Rainey, they're all doing spots. We're all having fun. It's going to be a party. Ianfinance.com. Uh, also, Patreon.com slash Beanie and Pod. We appreciate you guys supporting us. Support. Get the Patreon. Help us out. At some point, I'm in... Where's the comedy attic? Indy. Bloomington. Bloomington. And then I'll be at Cellar Vegas at some point. I'm going to Tacoma, Washington. You're in Cellar Vegas for Christmas. I fucked up. Oh, the pool's not open. <laughs> I might ask her if I can fly home on Christmas, but... What? I just thought there would be something romantic about being there on Christmas. Like, I could miss Christmas, but also it'd be like a David Foster Wallace. Maybe I'll hang myself from a... Beam in the room. I've had those Christmas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those are kind of good. Yeah, I Go relapsed. Go Chinese on, food with Cohen the Jew. Yeah, I relapsed on um, Christmas Eve. I relapsed last uh, Halloween, which means it's been a year with no I booze. That. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had heard a rumor that if you go to a bar and give them your AA chips, they will give you a drinks. Job. No. I wish. So I went in and dumped a bunch of coins on the bar and was like, I like to turn these in. I am here to relapse. And the guy was like, oh my. nah, man, this is really sad. You got to go home. Is this true? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, whatever, man, I got money. And it was Christmas Eve. It was fucking Holy brutal. Shit. When was that? Uh, 2012. You brought in, I make pasta. Yeah. Hold on. Let's make it happy now. Well, go ahead there. Is the record player not plugged in? Who's been fucking Carl, with my record? You Carl, know what I did? Carl, for, for those listeners Carl. that don't know, fucking basement Carl, out of the kindness of my heart, he said, can some of my friends stay? They're comics from Indiana. And I go, Carl, a friend of yours is a friend of mine. No problem. We he walk had, in. It's Hot Topic clearance rack down here. It's greasy, sublime shirts. Dude. I walked in one night. Two drug runs. First of all, they were smoking weed down here, smoking cigarettes without my permission. I smoked the cigarettes. You don't. And then 100%. They, I couldn't agree with you more. On yes. That. And Chaos. then I come in. I think they were blowing each other because when I walked yeah. in, they went like this. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah. Uh, and they I was were like, blowing each what? other. But Margaret Atwood's on the table. They were Margaret blowing each other. Margaret Atwood, the testaments of two queers. Yeah. Uh, right? Come on now. That's a goddamn bisexual Bible right there. Uh huh. Speaking of the bisexual bi Bible, I want to speak from the book of Dude Eronomy. <laughs> Play. <laughs> Dude, rock me. Dude, a uh, come on me. Dude, a uh, fuck me and then Dude, spend uh, your put life your with rod me. In me. Dude, <laughs> uh, rot me, spoil me rotten with your love. I'm looking for a man. This has kind of come up a lot recently. You side-eyeing me to see if what you're doing is okay. <laughs> you sing and just... 
Is she mad? Is she mad? You look like when there's a dog in the house and a cat comes in like this. Uh-huh. Trying not to acknowledge Ooh. that there's a cat. Ooh. Everything's fine. Everything's yes. fine. Oh, yeah, December 2nd and 3rd, oh. Saratoga Comedy Works, Saratoga, New York. Nice. December 8th. I don't 8th. know my dates on me because my phone's upstairs. But. Pittsburgh Improv, come on out. You guys got to buy these tickets mm. so that I can sell well so that the clubs will go, oh, it is profitable to bring this guy here because they all love me, but if you're not fucking buying tickets, I don't think I'm selling well in Des Moines. They well, consolidated. Is? And I was like, You should boo. lie and say that you're... um. Just make that face and everyone will think you got a slip ma- <laughs> a slipknot mask on. <laughs> like, slipknot face? coming home. Where, oh, where stop, were we stop. when I kept scaring you? Stop. You do that a lot. It's a rubber face. It's it's a not a good face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that face is. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. You know that, have you seen the movie Smile? <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's not cool or fun for me. <laughs> I wish we could pull up the video of me in the hotel room. Oh, my God. That was... Jordy, Jordy, go on my Instagram and pop up... Oh, fuck. Dude, it's so scary. Here. It's going to be worth it. it is worth it. I am green. Worth it? My skin is green. Like, you wouldn't believe it's worth it. When were we in Ohio? I remember. (laughs) Jesus. Was a time to do a little tough time for me. Yeah. Uh, One of the darkest photos on your phone. Oh God. The okay. All sharp right. Being a sad. Jordy, f- I'm sending this to you. Jordan, fill in your dates, and then I gotta get to the bottom of this record player. I can't fill in my dates because I also my I don't have my phone. But uh, off the top of my head, a riot comedy in in November. Second to last weekend, Riot, that's in Houston, I think. And then Cap City, maybe before that, that's in November. December, we have Vegas and something else. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, go to my website. Thank you. Oh, oh. my God. Jordy, I'm airdropping it now. Oh, <gasps> there you go, Jordy. Hey. Uh, yo. Oh, also, patreon.com slash b and pod. The YouTube, like oh, the it, red, subscribe it, share the, it. Oh, that's past. The oh, and our live show. Oh, our live show, this is going to be out after that. Oh, fuck, you're right. The Red Room, Cap City, Austin, Texas, November 11th and 12th. Thanks and, for coming out to the uh, live the, show. The Riot Comedy Show, Houston, Texas, November 18th, 19th. Uh, Tacoma Comedy Club, December 8th and 9th uh, and 10th. Uh and the Brokerage Comedy Club in Belmore, New York on January 20th and 21st. That was Skipping Cellar Vegas, which is the 19th to 25th. If you're in Vegas around Christmas, please, please come see me and give me a hug. Because I'm going to kill myself on Christmas. I'm going to die on Christmas Day from the Rio balcony. Oh, speaking of Rio, you were with me on the phone. No, please. I don't like this story. Nothing happened. He lies. Everything's good. Scott, Scott, Scott. Jordy, I, I'm waiting for you to join the airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> well, then email it to you yourself. You're hitting the button again. Jordy. <laughs> Jordy, I'm, Jordy, I'm pushing the button, Jordy. <laughs> we got the record player out. Wait, what story don't you like? You saying that you won a bunch of money in the I Vegas. Did. You didn't. You won some money and you lost a bunch of money. And you're a liar. But on the one ticket I got, it said it said $982. After you spent $1,200. No, no, I spent 500 So you made $400. Plus 300 that I won you're with a, a tell. you 300 is how much he gave you, not how much you won. No, he gave... He gave me 200. I gave him 100 back and then I got 300. <laughs> Yo, your smile thing, I have it here. Is it working? Uh, just you trying to deal with the fact that something here you want there. Jordy! Here! There! What don't you get? You get the thing in here, and then you go, poof, there. <laughs> you and go, then you, you go going, on TV, and you make it over there, bear. <laughs> you going, I have it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I went and saw Smile. Have you seen it? Yeah. Dude, 
I went and saw that with Shane. Oh, stop, 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 man, stop. Stop. Dude, you stop. Stop. <laughs> Can I just tell you that I've been doing this since, like, sixth grade, scaring people, like, hiding. I would hide in cupboards, and they'd open the cupboard, and I'd be making that face. Cool, man. <laughs> Great. I just want you to know that... Tough as you who's been traumatized. <laughs> do, I don't know how you can do that face. I don't. That I face. I can't see it. I don't do it in the mirror. I do well, it that's all why the I time show in the mirror. It I do it you. all the time in the mirror. I do it all the time in the mirror. Jordan, I'm sending this to you now. <laughs> Jamaic pasta. ETA, 30 seconds. You and Sagalo were here making those faces together, <laughs> and it just, it really grossed me out. He, when he does it, he looks like a happy little Grinch. Mm -hmm. When I do it, I look like a maniacal triangle face. You look like a makeup effects department spent hours mutating a face. I have a rubber face. <laughs> Dude, Shane, I, we were watching Smile, and I look over, and he was going, Dude. And it scared Dude, the fuck out of me. I would have lost And then my I went mind. to the bathroom, and he, when I opened the stall door, was behind me making that smile. And I went, no, stop. And there were other men in the bathroom. And I was like, sorry, we're just rebel rousing. There was other men and a little lady in the bathroom. And I was the lady. Yes, with your big pussy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a great Halloween last night where I wore your disgusting hot dog outfit on stage. You set me up for a solid two minute bomb. But You're then welcome. I saved it. Yes, but it was not my disgusting hot dog outfit. It was DeStefano's, Chris DeStefano's disgusting so hot DeRosa dog outfit. So DeRosa had a separate one? No, DeRosa wore that one. Oh. And then he was done with it. He wore it on Taste Buds. And then Chrissy wore it on like Good Day New York or whatever. And DeRosa got mad thinking that he stole it from DeRosa, like stole his idea to be a hot dog. And then I wore it. And pissed DeRosa off even more that it was then but it wasn't used originally by someone his. else. And then you used it. So it's three different people. Oh, here's the video. What are you doing? Volume, Jordy. Volume. Help. There's a gremlin. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are people able to see this on the podcast? Yeah. Can you play it? Oh, my God. Is it sound going to work? Here. What are you doing? <laughs> Help. There's a gremlin. <gasps> Oh, how did I? Why is my face green? At one point, you kind of look cute. Like you're like, yeah, ah, hey. And then, <laughs> oh, she's cute. And then look. No. <laughs> the other thing that they can't hear is my nails were long. So I clacked the you know what that wall is? really well. That's on those videos you see of someone being like, oh, it's a spider. Whoa, look. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. It goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those fucked me up, dude. Whoa. Did I get rid of that cigarette? Oh, it's still burning over here. Oh, whoa, I flew the cigarette. Sorry. How did you do that? Oh, magic. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Ever yeah. ever the house is Wonder on fire. How did you, when did you put it over there? I don't know. I think I blacked out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. That's crazy. <laughs> that really? I think it's been over there for a while. <laughs> no, there'd be a burn mark. Okay. So, update. You won some money in Vegas. Yes, uh -huh. and you were on the phone with me when I was winning continually. And you called me a thousand times. I have a screenshot of all your missed calls. It's really? crazy. Yeah, I was kind of losing it in Vegas. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Way too many days. How many days was it? I was there for 10. Skankfest <sighs> and then Cellar Vegas. Dude, somebody, yeah. Somebody was like, don't do it when I was talking about doing both. And I could have done it if you were there, but it was like... Well, you were supposed I to mean, do it I mean, remember the there. last night of Skankfest where we were... Man we were hysterically laughing and screaming. Yes. This is what happened. This is what happened. Was, okay. Oh my God. Everybody Our got friends, broken. First of all, Lev had killed a dealer. Oh, but, dude. Lev Fur sits down to play high stakes poker and the, the for dealer the, like, goes... For third night up goes, till 6 a.m. Uh, how are the tables tonight? And the guy goes... And just stop like that. And instead of Lev going, oh, my God, are you all right? He goes, I got to find another table <laughs> and just move tables. Okay. So EMTs are coming in. Yes. And then, and then 
all of our friends are zombies running up to us, frothering, as Atel would call it, at yes, the mouth. Yes, Oh, we are talking about yeah. that, too. Holy shit. Like, drunk, you know, I'm not going to name names, but coming up to us being like, we're on so many drugs, and I did yeah, some. I'm and, on mushrooms. And then there's other buddies who are, you know, I mean, Ryan Long, I feel like we left him for five minutes, and he was like, oh, you liar said you were going to bed. Which oh, is like, yeah. But we couldn't find our room. And then Ian's like a celebrity at Skankfest, so like all of his fans are coming out out of the woodwork and then at one point we're like finally see the elevators and we're so and ian is so such a ham that every fan he has to be like hi i'm ian yeah, yeah nice to meet you it's a picture and we're see I'm the grateful. elevator we had just been through a labyrinth of chaos we had seen all of our friends relapsing yeah yeah we yeah. had seen a man yeah, die literally a, a guy died fucking somebody's face has fallen off yeah. other people were like you said you were going to bed and now i seeing you five minutes later yeah. you're a liar yeah it's like you gotta stop the coke um I think I tackled Colin at one point because he had a box he refused to open from somebody. Remember yeah, that? I was yeah. like, open the box. He was bringing it around because he's like, like oh, somebody gave me a gift. I'm popular. <laughs> and then, and then as we see the, as we see the elevators, somebody from like 15 feet behind us goes, Ian! <laughs> and Ian just goes, ah! And we run, <laughs> and we run to the elevator. It was the only time the whole festival I saw you dodge a fan. Even yeah. me, who had like way less, I was still like, no, no. Yeah. Mullen is being like, no, no, you're stopping for 15 minutes, everybody. And then this last guy, ah! Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, and was, on top of that, we did totally get lost in the casino. And that guy followed us. And yeah. was like, oh, I'm a fan, blah, blah. Hey, thanks, by the way. Cool. And then he acted like he was going that way anyway. And when we turned around, he was like, I have no cover. Yeah. And then just was like, the walls are nice. And then just like turned around. <laughs> and like, so you check out the walls. Oh, I ran into you. How do you do? You know? Oh, there was so much of that there. Dude, and that night we hung out. With poopies from Jackass. Yeah, who's skateboarding in the hotel. Skateboarding, rode his go-kart. His dog got hurt because he ran his dog over with the go-kart <laughs> because his dog loves the go-kart. Yeah, loves the go-kart. Loves the go-kart. He dog also, also loves, loves sitting, sitting in, a van. in a van with the AC on while he's out being poopies. Yeah. He got married. Met a girl, married her the next day, and then this trifling asshole, when he was like, can I give you a kiss? She was like, I'm tired. And I was like, she's doing it for the clout. I got so close to banging poopies. I was in his ear. I know, but I could. I wasn't going you know to watch him be all sad about that girl. You know what I said? I said, he goes, you think she'd hook up? I go, she's not a hook up and leave girl. Nice. She's a cuddle and be nice to girl. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're, if you're in it for that, No. Because you, you know my be vagina is sealed over like this. This is what my vagina looks like at this oh, point. God. Just a hard And it's only horn. blown on by rabbis. <laughs> 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 only put your mouth on this if you're acidic. <laughs> yep, and that's what it sounds like, too. <laughs> um, uh, Atel was a also, highlight. shout out Poopies. He's a fucking man. Dude, we he had is fun hanging out. Dude, what a him little running rascal. that go-kart was so fun. His stories were great. We did his podcast. So cool we made everything thing. in a van. Dude, he some company so gave him a van dog. and he just came here two days before. Yeah, incredible. His dog was cute as fuck. Oh my god! Him riding his go kart, holding his dog, was like, what? This is fucking wild. What was the dog's name? Gollum? Gorm? Gom? Gorm? Gromit? Go Goim? <laughs> it's like a surfer name. It's like a Grommy? Grom? Grom? Gromit? Grom? Gromit? Yeah. And he has a scar on his hand from getting bitten by a shark. Oh, and we made him relive it, which was traumatizing. Yes, very. He really was fucked up by that. I watched the video on his YouTube that he sent me to, and it was, he's, he was fucked up. Yeah, he was in a bad place. Yeah. I would be too. You yeah. think, you? I thought the jackass, they had it dialed in. I thought they had things ready to, you yeah, know what I Yeah, I thought mean? they had handles And we kept and asking him, we kept being yeah. like, wait, isn't there a way of, yeah. sit? and he was like, no, it was my choice. I just went in the shark. And we were like, no. He probably jumped the gun. You know the term jump the shark? What does that mean? It's when a television show jumps the shark, as in it s starts being bad, and they call it that because if Fonzie jumped the shark in Happy Days, and that's yep. when the show got bad. Yep. They were, it was like the moment that they were like, Happy Days is no longer good. When, in that episode, he- What do you mean he jumped? He, on his bike, like, he yeah, jumped over a shark? Jumps, it's like a stunt. He jumps over a shark tank, and they were like, that was the end of that show. It was never good after that again, and they wow. cut it as a term. 
Yeah, I th- I, th- I thought yeah, jump the shark meant like something is no longer good that once was. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Mike Early has told me that ten thousand times, and mm. I've never heard the phrase jump the shark, but I've heard him tell me that. I thought it was jump the ship. No, jump ship means bail. That means quit. So once something jumps the shark, you better jump ship. Dude, my buddy the other day, I said, I kind of phoned it in. That's what I said. I was like, I phoned it in. And she goes, what do you mean phoned what in? And I was like, like I phoned it in. And she was like, I don't know what that means. Isn't that crazy? Dude, I think at some point we are going to get rid of handwriting. Why would you say that right now? Because that's an old phrase that nobody in the age younger than us knows. So like all these old phrases. What do you phrases, mean? There's still going to be hipsters. Hipsters will always write on paper. Dying breed. It's going to be emojis as hieroglyphics. <gasps> oh, I see what you mean. Nobody you mean knows literally cursive anymore. Letters. They don't teach cursive in schools. They don't teach cursive in schools. And that's it. They really? don't teach cursive. I'm so good at People cursive. don't even write things if down. And when they do, so oh, I bet you dotted your eyes with hearts. No, I was with, I was. Skulls. Skulls. Yeah, but you were a fat girl. That's what all fat girls No, say. they're just good at cursive. Ugly on the outside, beautiful on the paper. <laughs> 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 on paper, if she's I can't beautiful, be but pretty, in real life, will. good God Almighty! Yeah, that's why you would learn to write your name beautiful. I'm not, but Jordan is. <laughs> <laughs> one of my buddies wow, left a note I on could, my car. I didn't know you could read fat, <laughs> dude. Told, one of my buddies left a note on my car, being like, "If you don't move your truck, I'm gonna have it towed." As a, a bit, and I brought it into her, and I was like. I know you wrote this because you used to be a fat girl, and the, these this is in cursive. Dude, I'm going through every note. No, no, no. Some hot girls have good handwriting. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just also fat girls. Dude, a girl with good handwriting turns me on. You don't know that. It's just thought of a woman, and then it turned you on. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> you just went through lists of people that you fuck, and then asked yourself if they had good handwriting, and found yourself slightly aroused, oh. and then uh-huh. attributed it to the handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I want to jerk off to some notes. Wait, I got turned on by the weirdest thing the other day. It was like a toolbox or something. No, it wasn't. It was something else. It was Ooh, your weird. ex-boyfriend? It was the... <laughs> I was thinking about that. What do you think about this as a bit? I keep going back with my ex because it's like a controlled forest fire. I know it's going to burn, but... I, I, but I want to be in charge. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, but I want, but I'm going to decide, <laughs> but I'm going to decide. So it's like a controlled demolition. No, you know how they do forest it's, fires it's on gonna, purpose? It's going to, it's going to uh, crumble. Oh, the building's going down. If the building's going down, it's going to crumble, sure he's but I'm going to be the one pressing the button. <laughs> okay, press the button. While he goes in, I say, I left some fat handwriting notes for you. Go on inside <laughs> the building, check it out. Then I'm going to tower seven that shit. Even yep. this girl yesterday at the cellar, an audience member, I was like, why'd you break up? And she was like, uh, oh, admit that my tags were good. <laughs> good tags. I'm going to push the button. Yeah. <laughs> this girl at the cellar, she was like, I was like, why'd you break up? And she was like, because he posted new, he updated his hinge. And I was like, how long were you together? And she was like, three months. And I was like, yeah, well, he's probably doing the last like hurrah before he locks it up with you. And even me just, I was like justifying this woman being with this man because of. Wait. He was, uh, if they were together, why was he on Hinge? That's why she broke up with him. That's smart. I know, but I was like, it's fine. He just was banging it out a few times before he, that's how like. Damaged you Damaged are? I am, yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of the seller, I I roasted Selena Gomez. Oh yeah, what happened? Well, <clears throat> <clears throat> um, speaking of, it wasn't at the seller, it was somewhere else, and <clears throat> She and it wasn't Selena Gomez. It was I was like Hans I was, Christian Anderson. I was like saying we're going through a breakup, that? and she was like, ah! and I was like asking her about it, and then she was like, they got she he married a reject, and I was like, well, first of all, you're not going through a breakup if you got married to somebody that must have been. And she was mm-hmm. like, it was two months ago, and I was like, all right, for also, can we talk about reject? I was like, that is the craziest word. To you. Reject is something that I wanted to like be when I was a mall goth. I have not heard that word since like 2003. You're a reject. And I was like, it's also the cleanest way of saying the meanest thing. It's like being like, he married an orphan. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I really went in on her and I was like, also in this situation, you are undeniably the reject. And everybody's like, bah! and I left. 
And they were like, that was Selena Gomez. No way. Yes. No way. You I don't believe that. You can ask the staff. It all. Where? People At were freaking what out. Club? Oh. Yeah. Really? Why? Someone like that, that would be on page six. Dude. I was. What I, night? Your mom. <laughs> Monday. You are right. I was there Monday. Wait, what day is it today? Wednesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> okay, Ooh, so it was. I'm running on. I was there all weekend, sleep. dude. It must have been Saturday. Really? Yeah. Dude, I was looking at a picture. I bet she's got good handwriting. <laughs> I bet she does with a little chipmunk face. Oh my god, I was looking at her a picture. Oh, got a little bikini. Stop! Hey, baby, fat. What's face. happening? What? <laughs> We didn't sleep much last night because we did uh, Jim and Andy. That's how it's called. Jim and Sam. <laughs> Jim and Sam. And did Jim and Sam this morning. Very fun. That's where I got this shirt. Keep on skanking. Suicide machine shirt. You make pasta. Isn't that great? Travis got it for me. That was so nice. And then afterwards, Jordan and I got ramen. I got myself a little treat. Because I... Went to the Midtown New York Firefighter Store. Wow, that's good. Yes. That's good. You're not one of those, but... And I talked to a firefighter, and I went on the truck, and I took video oh and picture, God, and I was playing fag. with the hose. I love firefighting. Anyway, I talked to this guy, Ed, and he was like, well, what are you doing in the city? And I was like, uh, I live here. And he goes, well, what do you do for work? I said, I'm a stand-up comic. He goes, you know, that is the toughest job in the world. Wow. And I go, you're a New York City firefighter. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if he says that to everybody so that they then say to him, no, your job is. No, Ed didn't seem like that kind of guy. Ed seemed like a real good guy. His wife was a rockette. Really? Mm -hmm. What happened to her? She died. Oh. That's just oh. good. She's, alive. She's just not a rockette She's anymore. a rockette. She was a rockette, and she helped choreograph dances for Christopher Walken. He he danced? Have two, you not seen the Fat Boy Slim video? Two mice. Two mice fell into a bucket of milk. <laughs> One of the mice grabbed on the other mouse and said, I'm going to ride you out of this bucket. Okay, Jordan, as Christopher Walken, tell us about your recent date. <laughs> I went out with a guy. He is a comedy adjacent, and uh, he was a bit of an alcoholic. <laughs> it was weird. He now you just sound like you're <sighs> some sort of stripper DJ. Yeah. That's the voice he morphed well, into. He, he was an alcoholic. I here, Christopher Walken, ready? Chris Christopher Walken doing the census. I wondering you Are suck. you Filipino or <laughs> <laughs> He drank six Negronis? Before the end of the night. I would do the same if I had to deal with you. I agree. <laughs> I was saying, keep going. It's only going to get worse from I'm here. A man. A man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt more paralyzed in my body than just now. A man. <laughs> 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 so bad. A man. So <laughs> what? It was, it was like an explosion. It was like, I didn't think, I'm, a man. What is happening? I can't hold on. Chris, we're walking. Hold on. It was like you're sitting over there and being like, just do it. Just do it again. You can do it. Just say the word man. Like, man. 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 Man, the battleships. Man, that show jumped the shark. Two mice. It helps if you say mice. Two mice. Two mice. Two mice. Two mice. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, how's he talk? Hold on, hold on. I can do it. I can do it. Can you this a video that we can this watch was in a man's ass. Oh my god, I did see this. It's so good. Is this the song? Yeah. Dude, he's the coolest. 
A man. What do you mean murder thing? That shit happens. What's that mean? Jordy's like eighty. So this is something that happened in like nineteen seventy two. Mike Walken and Robert Wagner, who was married to Natalie Wood at the time. Robert Wagner in Austin, <laughs> Austin Powers. Powers. Yep. That's the, and by the way, what he, are you laughing? He doesn't really work <laughs> anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was talking. I was doing oh, and yeah. I was, and you were just <laughs> one, two, a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, they killed her. Who? Natalie Wood, the actress. I killed an actress. I threw her off the shock. She, she was jumped shock. Jumped into a shock's <laughs> mouth. You're so bad. <laughs> So can you do vocal fry? Wait, hold on. Hold on. So wait, tell me. Why are you touching that? Because somebody left fucking weed on the table and I don't like drugs in my house. Oh, fucking yes. basement, Carl. We gotta have a word. Anyway. So so Natalie Wood, Robert Wagner, who was married to Natalie Wood, and Christopher Walken went out on this boat. She doesn't come back. So what happened? They say she drowned. She fell. She fell. She fell. It was like some shady off the boat. They were like pretty uh, on drugs when they got back in. Like it, it didn't look good. Robert Wagner really didn't work much after that. Walken really got away with it. She probably yeah. I guess you could say Christopher Walken walked. Yeah, she walked her from ass. That she one. walked her ass off that boat. She, <laughs> he's walking from, away from jail. A story. A woman and a man go on a boat. That, you're getting so much better. And. One doesn't make it back. <laughs> Damn it, that's a I stripper think you DJ. I have to go high. I think you have to go high. Hi, I'm Christopher Walken. <laughs> you have to imagine him. Can you picture him? What he's talking? You, he's talking to Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie. Catch me if you can. This watch. Good job. Was. Given to me by a man. Yes. Who was your father? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. I can't. Do it. Who was your father? <laughs> he was little baby's father, boy. <laughs> and you are going to go for you. Just start. You just start Goodwill hunting. Fucking uh, under hypnosis, and then he touched my penis, and we can make a lot of love. And when the sun goes down, you remember that part? Remember when he's being hypnotized? Oh, and he's faking. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll admit, I can't do a walking, but you know who I can do? I can do a good Rocky. Oh, Adrian! Wow, Adrian! I got another fight in me, Adrian. You could do Andrew Dice Clay then too. Cut me, hey ho, Hickory, Hickory Dickory Doc. This bitch was sucking my cock. The clock. The clock struck two. She swallowed my goo. And I made it get a cab home or something. <laughs> Welcome to giving up with Ian and Jordan. What's the, this is a good one where he goes, Little Miss Muffet sat in a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Down came a spider, <laughs> sat down beside her and said, what's in the bowl, bitch? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. amazing. What's amazing. in the bowl, bitch? Incredible. So good. So mm -hmm. The clock mm -hmm. struck two. She swallowed my goo. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, we need to make an announcement about something you announced on the pod. Well, there was a little bit of a, uh, an issue when I said that my dad's widow, whom I didn't name, might have killed my father. We just want to go on the record and say she didn't kill her father. I would like to go on the record and say I still it's unclear to me. <laughs> nope. It's unclear where my father's death arrived and where the widow was when it arrived. But I, but what is certain is I received a, frankly, 
inappropriate voicemail saying, Jordan, uh, my son has been telling me things about your podcast, one of which being that you claim I killed your daddy. I would like if you would not do that. And it, what I did is I screen recorded the voicemail and sent it immediately to Ian Fadance. And I said, hello, 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 hello. And also, I'd like to add that you certainly followed it up with oopsie poopsie. <laughs> you know, when you accuse your ex-stepmother of murdering your father, it's a simple oopsie poopsie. And if this said person didn't want me to think that she hath murdered my father, maybe she shouldn't have sold all of his things so rapidly upon his death. Things I could have used, such as his circular saws and such. Also, I don't... I... I don't have anything more to say about it. <laughs> but if you're watching this and... You're offended that not only have I not removed the part in which I say that you killed my father, but I, in fact, have now talked about you saying to remove the part about killing my father. Then I will tell you to, frankly, a uh, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> you heard, Lady Jensen. Uh, fuck off. You received lots of money and as well as the house as me and him had built together. So the least I can do is talk about you in a British accent on my platform where I give up far too much sensitive information, which is my right. <laughs> so I have a urinary tract infection what? currently and my father's widow possibly could have killed him. And those are the facts of the day. This has been Facts of the Day with <laughs> Lady Jensen. <laughs> we need to sleep. We have to sleep. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. And my friend just died. My yeah, friend died. My friend Our died. Buddy died. Oh, God. R.I.P. Steve. Big Steve King, you're the fucking man. Dude, he is the man. He was the nicest, and he always protected us he and protected made us feel us. safe when people were crazy at the cellar. And, uh, whew, man. I know. I was thinking about riding my motorcycle there today and how excited he would get whenever I brought the motorcycle. And he'd be like, hey, Jordan, you ride the motorcycle. And I'd be like, yep, every time. He gets so stoked. And if I didn't have it, he'd be like, where's the motorcycle? I know, like... I, whatever, we'll probably have to edit this, but. Why? Did you know how he died? I think peacefully and asleep. I just found out. What? Your ex-stepmom killed him. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sometimes you make me so proud. Sometimes you make me so proud. Oh, God. Uh, no, but really, rest in peace, Steve King. You were the fucking man. Always had a smile on your face. Always made people around you smile, and you were a pleasure to see when we were going to work. We love you. Love you, Steve King. He would think that was really funny. He would have laughed. Probably should have done that at the end of the episode. <laughs> Is it not the end? <laughs> no. How long have you been going? <laughs> oh, oh, we wanted to talk about this. Well, we might have to edit, edit that out just because. No, it was. You don't think? No, okay. you were great. No, say, did your stepmom kill your dad? I don't know. Say no. No is what <laughs> I'm supposed to say. <laughs> yeah, see, we're fine. We cleared it up. And also, oh, listen. because we could get sued? Why don't you just say allegedly? Allegedly? Doesn't that protect you if you say allegedly? I killed him. Yeah. I killed my father. Yeah, see, we're just saying wacky stuff. I went into his house. Yep. And I killed him. Yep. There you go. You heard it here first, folks. How'd you do it? I spooked him. What, with that fucking face of yours? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that thing is a nightmare. <laughs> Smoke this rock. is how he died. This is how he died. In reality, the truth is, this is how he died. What, being the man? No. <laughs> being a cool guy? 
I know. Yeah, I'd be honored. <laughs> <laughs> Red, sweating from <laughs> coughing, tears coming out of your eyes. What, for being the coolest dude on earth? <laughs> being a guy. <laughs> being a guy. Kids look up to him. <laughs> totally the guy invited first to the party. How do we get you to quit? We have to get you to quit. I or at know. least reduce. I know. Reduce, How many? Reuse, recycle. Who's, who's at my head? You or a tell? Who smokes more? Him. Him. Definitely him. Really? Oh, speaking of. <clears throat> dude, in Vegas. So, it. Was that the last night? Mm-hmm. No. It was the second to last night. We spent the whole night October with a tell. October 15th, which is my dad's. Death anniversary. That's right. And wasn't that such a nice way to spend it? Yes. Yeah. It was the best. Yeah. Dave is the man. He's the best. Oh, he's making me laugh so hard. We recorded the podcast and then we went out and we went and ate with Bobby and Ari and Vecchione. Oh, oh, where, where and which? Did I talk about this on the podcast? No, but keep saying okay. British type things. Uh, uh, Ari, <laughs> Ari goes up to the counter and he's like, is there oh, yeah. any way I could get a burger? And they're like, we don't have a burger. And he's like, I just saw somebody walking around with a burger. And he, they were like, that's not possible. There's like a brisket that we can put on a bun. And he was like, that's not what I saw. And they were, it went on for like seven <laughs> minutes. And I knew this because I was right behind him trying to order. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Okay. And then we go and sit down. They bring him his matzo ball soup and everything but a burger. Mm-hmm. And then David Tell comes in, sits down, and they bring him... Yeah. Just a, a burger, twelve ounce, big old fatty burger. <laughs> that he it was ate, and then we went to a different burger place and got for more him to burgers. Get another burger. And <laughs> he put the food down in front of me and Ian, and whoever else was it, Mike Vecchione, Vecchione, and we start opening it and eating it and eating it. And the guy at the counter goes, "Hey, that's not your food." And David Tell looks at the man and goes, "But they're eating it happily." <laughs> <laughs> and it is, there is nothing more true. Then that we were eating it happily. He looked over and I had like an onion ring out of the box. And he was like, yeah. no. And I was like, eh. Uh, I had an onion ring in my mouth. Uh, vanilla milkshake that he got us. Two milkshakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was incredible. A and Captain then we Crunch milkshake. played blackjack. And then we were outside. With an angry dealer. Walking around. And some drunk guy came up to us and started you're yelling young, at right? Jordan. You're and was, 22. And I yeah. was like, yes. <laughs> and he goes, you're the reason why music's bad. <laughs> you're the reason why music's bad. You ruin music. And I hide behind Dave because. The meekest man in the world. <laughs> because Ian said later, of course you hid behind him. He shaped like a painting. True. <laughs> and Dave, and then after the man leaves, Dave goes, it was good that you hid behind me. That guy was starting to frother. Because <laughs> he had spit in the corner of his mouth and it's the best it's the best he did not blink twice that man was starting to frother and it floored my ass and he kept being like it's because we keep hiding in this helen keller corner yeah. not helen like keller little- and frank <laughs> and frank corner <laughs> like because we're in the end frank corner we're in this little enclave where people kept everybody, sneaking up on us everybody would turn the corner and then just take out whatever had been Aggression, them right whatever they us. lost they, they would turn to be like thank god us. you're here i hate yeah. my mother yeah it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. And then we just and then we just listened to Dave roast every person as we walked by. It's it the so, best. He's the best. Everywhere we go on the road, we just sit and people watch. And it's so fun making fun of everyone. And the later we stay out at night, chain smoking, even just in front of a hotel, we meet the biggest weirdos. And it's so fun. He's the best. Isn't he? Yeah, I'm Team Mattel. Always. I'm Team Mattel. Yes, who 100%. wouldn't be? He's incredible. He's a man. He has become such a, a dear, wonderful friend. I'm so grateful for him in my life. <laughs> he was saying funny shit on the episode. You'll see. It's Dude. on the Patreon. Oh, so yeah. funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when he brought me up on stage at the end of Skankfest, it was so fun. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. the way he does the thing where he's like, "Well, Ian, you're a small boy looking for hope," you know, like that <laughs> thing where it's like, <laughs> "So, Jordan, you've been a horse girl since you can remember." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was fucking great. Uh, what you call it? What do those hands mean? Oh, we're uh, at forty-five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Whoops. okay. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, we have to end it because we have to do the. Other one, right? Yeah, we're doing another one. Wait, was there anything else we had to talk about? Oh, yeah. Oh, cousin. My cousin. Oh, who we're going to have on? Yeah, we want to have my cousin Sherry on the podcast. Did you meet cousin Sherry? Dude. Cousin Sherry. Cousin Sherry 
is, you know, when you have a uh, relative that's not really a relative, it's because your parents, it's or their poor. best friend's yes. kids. Yeah. yeah, you're poor. <laughs> I was trying to write a bit about this, about how if you're poor, you always have these aunts and uncles that aren't yours, but also it's the same if you're rich. What? Yeah, because rich kids in New York, they'll be like, oh, we call her my aunt because my mother was would leave me with her while she was at like, a, get, while she was performing. I mean, for me, it's like, yeah, my father called, you know, said that my uncle because... I was fucking him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, but it was like what? it was like the men who were around. That is a leap. You were fucking a guy. No, no, uh, no. The my mother would be like, "This is your uncle Roy," oh, 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 and you'd be like, "Uncle." Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. You said father, and I was like, "Who's fucking oh. who here?" But oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Jensen family tree, which is we're finding out every episode is just a stump. Well, my godfather <laughs> is somebody my mom that. fucked, cheated on my dad with. And then made him godfather. That's pretty badass. I accidentally called him today. That's weird that this came up. Really? Yeah. Wait, your mother... Fucked a dude who worked for her. Yes. Then? And then made him godfather of me and Jamie. When you were... So this was before you were born. I was How do you born. make someone a godfather later in life? Someone's I your godfather th no. when you get baptized. No, she didn't tell my you dad just, that she had sex with him. You don't just go when you're 18, him. hey, you got a new godfather. She didn't say, Jack, I banged this guy, but he's going to be godfather. She said, we're going to make Roy the godfather. And then later in life, I was Roy. like, did you fuck Roy? And she was like, yeah, fuck Roy. 100% Roy. I fucked Roy. So before your dad, she fucked Roy? Yeah. Did, he did no, 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 no. During my dad. Oh. She cheated on my dad with Roy. Ah. And then she was like, he, dad was like, who should be the godfather? And she was like, obviously Roy, he's around all the time. Your, your family lineage would just look like an old lady's Veracross veins. of <laughs> Just spiders. That's how everywhere. it is when you're poor. The cousins on cousins on cousins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I was shipped off to cousins all the time. Oh, yeah. It was great. I loved it. But my cousin, okay, so my dad's best friend, Clyde and Camille, uh, have kids, Adam and Sherry, and they were like my two best friends growing up. We always played Ghostbusters, and it was so much fun. And then we, you know, drifted apart, parted ways for a long time. And then we, you know, reconvened later, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Sherry, cousin Sherry lives in New York and she is a hardcore butch wigger dyke. Wow. Like butch lesbo married to a gal who's the sweetest. Sherry's the sweetest. But dude, she is. Would she like to be called that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh okay. she's the one that's like, no, I'm not a lesbian. I'm a dyke. You know? Wow, like, wow, wow. Dude, she is the best. She is the hardest motherfucker in the world. Like, used to always wear, like, wife beaters and, like, cornrows and everything. Whoa. From wow. a part of Delaware called Claymont, but they're called Clay Monsters. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's the fucking best. But she is, like, off her rocker. Like, I saw her at the cellar one night. I didn't know she was there. She oh could be like, that's my cuzzo. Oh, that's wow, my wow, cuzzo. Wow, wow, wow. And then afterwards, I was like, Sherry, how you doing? She's like... Trying to get this straight pussy. Oh my god! Like what? Didn't she's you like, say she started? I love turning girls. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. say she started stand up? Recently, she fucking started stand up. Oh, I can't wait. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And our fucking sets are like, I'll tell you about the first time I sucked a long dick. And you're like, <gasps> Sherry, what the fuck? Anyway, I wanted to do the podcast. <laughs> long dick, <laughs> dude. Yeah. She's like, I gave it the gluck gluck. I'm like, what are you talking about? She came to see me at New York Comedy Club once, and she grabbed Sam Rubinoff's dick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have to have her on immediately. She's the best, oh, dude. Oh, it's going to be was, a good one. There was a fight with these women, and everyone's, like, looking, and Sherry comes out with a beer in her hand, and she's like, oh, shit, the crackhead's popping off tonight. And everyone looks. She's like, what's up, baby girl? You want some? And I'm oh, like, wow, wow, Sherry, wow, wow, Sherry, wow. You were fucking nuts. And Sherry, of all names. Oh, dude, it's the best. Oh, it's we got to have her best. On. That's she's what you have to look forward to. She's fucking clean now. She fucking rules, dude. Hell yeah. We got to have her on and just let her go. Hell yeah. It's fucking nuts. I love it. And uh, I think that that would be great. I think it Sherry's would be. on the episode. But goodbye and thank you. Patreon.com slash Beanie and Pod. Uh, Jordan? <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>